Associate Professor in the Department of the History of Medicine here at Johns Hopkins University. I want to welcome you to our online programs course, Science and the Practice of Medicine. This is a survey course of the history of medicine from the early 18th century through to the end of the 19th century. We'll be studying the changing social meanings of disease. For example, how diseases like smallpox, yellow fever and cholera were understood. And the different kinds of institutions that emerged as people tried to organise responses to these and other threats to health. Much of this work wasn't done by doctors at all. It was done by midwives, nurses, secular healers and everyday citizens in their own homes. Using the tools of social, cultural and intellectual history, we will look at a series of very different interactions between science and the practice of medicine in the 18th and 19th centuries. Hello, I'm Kirsten Morshili, and I'll be your teaching assistant for this course. We will begin by studying enlightenment reasoning and then move on to consider how medical practices, ideas, and institutions changed in the context of broader social, political, and intellectual developments of the period. We'll be looking at how the interaction of social and biological forces produced different patterns of disease in different populations in different places at different moments in time. Indeed, one aspect that makes the history of medicine such a tangible and relevant field is its enduring qualities, such as the seeming universality of disease, we all get sick, and health professionals. There have been doctors and nurses for a long time and in many different places. The history of health and disease connects us to people from very different times and very different places. History and medicine affords us remarkable glimpses of what it was like to live in a very different time and inhabit a very different understanding of the world. It is a course about what we can learn about the past and our current moment by taking seriously very different approaches to the body in health and disease. Each week, short lectures provide a basic overview of the key topics. When possible, we use a comparative approach, but most of our examples do come from Europe and North America. We'll also discuss materials on a weekly basis. We'll take readings in class to explore key themes and concepts from the course in greater depth. The course is designed to be an intimate space where we learn about the history of medicine together and we build up a set of historical skills along the way. So please feel free to get in touch with us if you've got any questions at all. We're really looking forward to meeting you and having you meet each other.